Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G smartphone was launched in 7th August 2019. The phone comes with a dynamic AMOLED 6.8 inch touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. It is powered by a 1.9 GHz octa core Samsung Exynos 9825 processor that features 4 cores clocked at 1.9 GHz, 2 cores clocked at 2.4 GHz, and 2 cores clocked at 2.7 GHz. It comes with 12 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel primary camera with an 1.5 to 2.4 aperture, a second 16 megapixel ultra wide lens with an 2.2 aperture, a third 12 megapixel telephoto lens with an 2.1 aperture, and a fourth time of flight 3D VGA camera. The rear camera setup has face detection autofocus. There is a 10 megapixel camera on the front for selfies with a 2.2 aperture. The front camera also features autofocus. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G runs one UI based on Android 9 Pie and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via micro SD card up to 1 terabyte. It's a dual SIM smartphone that accepts nano SIM and nano SIM cards. This device is powered by a 4300 mAh battery with 45 watt fast charging support. It also supports 15 watt fast wireless charging. This smartphone also supports face unlock. It was launched in Aura Black, Aura Glow and Aura White colors. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is the best smartphone available right now. It's a big phone that's designed for big hands and it takes the very best of words on the smartphone market and puts it together in a compelling package that we have loved testing. The Super AMOLED 6.4 inch display has been measured as the very best around, with super colors, great dynamic range and essentially the very best viewing experience you can have on a mobile phone. The default resolution is Full HD+, but you can crank it to QHD+, and it's very sharp, with HDR10+, for superior contrast and color. That's a very important feature if you are a movie watcher on your phone. Plus, there's a fingerprint scanner embedded in the display. The battery life on the Galaxy S10 Plus is an improvement over the S9 Plus, thanks to the larger 4100 mAh battery inside. It will easily reach bedtime with double digits still left in the tank. The S10 Plus also offers Samsung new wireless power share, allowing you to wirelessly charge other devices on the rear of the handset. The back has a triple lens camera that takes normal telephoto and new ultra-wide photos. You can capture more of what's in front of you without having to take few steps back. The Galaxy S10 Plus is packed full of the best Samsung has to offer and it comes together to give you the best smartphone experience around right now. Samsung A90 5G smartphone was launched in 3rd September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. It is powered by an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 7nm processor, it comes with 8GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Samsung A90 5G on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 48MP main shooter and a 8MP ultra-wide lens along with a 5MP depth sensor. There is a 32MP camera on the front for selfies. This device is based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 4500 mAh battery with 25W fast battery charging support. It was launched in white and black colors. The Samsung Galaxy A80 has a premium glass design with a metal frame running around its circumference which feels good in the hand. The phone comes with a 6.70 inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. With a full HD Plus resolution and Super AMOLED panel, the display on the Galaxy A80 is bright, clear and colorful, which should be bored well for gamers and Netflix viewers. Samsung Galaxy A80 is powered by a 1.7 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor. It comes with 8GB of RAM. Samsung Galaxy A80 happens to be the first smartphone to launch with a slider mechanism along with rotating camera. The whole point of the rotating cameras on the Samsung Galaxy A80 is so you can utilize the same great cameras on the rear of the phone on the front. The main 48 megapixel sensor is the default camera available to you when you open the camera app. But it's easy to switch between it and the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera which allows you to fit more into your shot. The third camera is a 3D depth sensor providing excellent background blur for the live focus mode which defocuses the background of your shots while keeping the foreground in focus. 
Overall, this smartphone is an amazing piece of technology specifically for those who love gaming and passionate about smartphone photography. The A70 is good enough to justify its mid-range price tag and soon you will know why. The Galaxy A70 is actually similar to the Galaxy A50 and follows the same 3D glass design language where the glass stands for glass-like plastic. With a 6.7-inch Infinity UV screen on the front, the phone is not the most compact option available in the market but it is still surprisingly manageable. The polycarbonate body with all the curves in the right places makes the phone feel sleek and relatively light in the hands. On the rear, the Galaxy S70 stacks a 32MP with 1.7 aperture primary sensor, 8MP wide-angle shooter and a 5MP depth sensor. As for the selfies, the Galaxy S70 uses the same 32MP sensor on the front as well. There's scene optimizer, live focus portrait mode, flow detection and many more options on the phone. Samsung has included 240fps slow-mos at 1080p, which should be fun to play around. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 SoC is currently placed into Galaxy A70. Samsung has paired 2GHz octa-core chipset with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. There is a dedicated microSD card slot that can hold additional 512GB storage. It can handle demanding games, offers great battery life, has super fast charging and the full version of Samsung Pay that lets you go card free. 